This is my five year expired batteries. It's their double A Duracells. Came from this uh, wireless touchpad, which I never used. And so I finally opened it up. And I noticed this, uh, it was this one had really kicked the bucket. But this one looks like it might be in halfway decent condition. It says, uh, e sorry, I'm trying to find one. This is right over here. I need to remember to wash my hands. Still in the plastic package, but it says by March 2019, and it's April 2024 right now. So let me go take that out. So this is the really bad one. Sorry, it's hard to see. Missing the lighting's really bad. I'm not going to check that voltage on that, it's probably totally toast, but this one, this one has, this one has stuff on it from this battery. This one looks, okay, so let's see if this battery is still usable. I might Nintendo Wii out right now. I'm going to see if, first test is, I'm just going to put it into my Wii remote and see if I can use it. I know it's not a super great test, but. So, let's go over to the Wii. So surprisingly, it, it is usable. So you can see here, I'm um, moving it around. I'm gonna press the home button, and it's, if it was dead, then we wouldn't see, well, this thing wouldn't turn on, and, and if it was really drained, we'd see that it goes down. So surprisingly, this five-year-old five -year expired battery is working. So now let's just check the voltage. I, I wish I'd used a, a new battery for the other one to have a comparison. So I guess the battery is kind of new, we'll see. So I'm gonna test uh, the voltage on the, supposedly, sorry, I don't know if this is new or not, but it's running. So it, anyways, by, by default, the voltage on a new battery should be around 1.5 volts, a double A, I believe. That's what it says usually on batteries. So you'll see, this says 1.5, sorry, it said 1.5, 1.53. So good voltage. Let's try this expired battery. Again, this is from 2019. Ah, 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 ah. This is from 2019. And I'm going to measure it right over here right now. And it's showing voltage of 1.531. So surprisingly, even though this wasn't used, uh, it appears to be usable. Now, the other one that I had, the one that was flaking like crazy over here. Uh, let me go clean it off and then I'll measure the voltage. Uh, it's, it's, there's, may, maybe it is usable. usable. This isn't, see, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just salt. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like a, heat, a bad battery leak, so. Okay, I was really wrong. So there's all the damage at the very bottom. It hasn't burst yet, but it's really in bad condition. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still measure the voltage just cause I can. 
I doubt it could be even usable. You can see there's like this is 1.487. It's fluctuating. You just can't get a good reading. Just for fun, I'm going to try out the battery with the the two Duracells together on the Wii Remote just to see if uh, it's usable, even though it supposedly said 1.4. So then hopefully it doesn't fall apart too much. On There it is. Bad battery, okay battery, I don't. And uh, turned on. So I don't suggest doing this because uh, I think the battery could leak even more. It hasn't leaked, but it's slowly like letting out stuff so I'm, it's definitely not super safe and it could eventually let out stuff it could just you know open up a lot more so this is just for testing purposes uh, the Wii remote is able to is usable and so this does have this side over here the bad battery is usable even though it looks horrible and the good battery the five-year-old expired battery on the right that looks in good condition is still working fine so anyways long story short uh supposedly i have one bad battery but it's still right now usable i'm pretty sure like in a day or so it's gonna die on the right side i have a visual looking good battery but i don't again i don't know how long it'll last it might corrode like this other battery it's just something i wanted to try out we'll see i might leave this one i might still use this one in the touchpad what do you call it touchpad uh mouse that originally came with so this is my short story i wish i had a, a a real battery tester which i don't have but you saw the voltages this one was like 1.531 and this one was like 1.47 or something which was surprising this one being so high but again it's never been used and I, i'm on here on the screen just moving the mouse and there's no it, it, it's I'm not the mouse, the Wii Remote, and it's working okay. So this is my really boring video. I just thought it'd be interesting to try out these batteries. And again, I'm not going to use this anymore. I'm going to put it away and, you know, go to e-waste disposal. But this one, um, I'm willing to give it a try. And it's interesting that uh, one of the batteries work. My final thoughts will be, <clears throat> I've owned Duracells in the past. I actually bought a, a, a huge pack from uh, Costco. And um, I had a bad experience with Duracells even before it expired. Uh, a, a batch of them stopped working. And I, and I, and I'd asked my wife to return the batteries, but she was embarrassed doing it. <clears throat> but uh, I, I, I don't have too much confidence in Duracells, and that's just my limited opinion. Uh, and that's the reason why I usually buy generic batteries or off, off anything else but Duracell. I, after the whole Costco experience uh, I'm, I'm even willing to buy Kirkland brand batteries versus uh, Duracells because they they died before their expiration and that's not not acceptable in my opinion over and out